All right, guys, so the turn has finally passed. Um, so I'm just going to go from my world to world and see what's going on in each one of my worlds. Um, so over in my main world, which I am in now, it appears we have a 54k profit, so decent like I thought. Um, yeah, all I had to do was a very subtle price decrease and then combined with the fact that this is an upturn. Um, uh, January typically has, or December typically has the highest travel for the winter months. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, it should probably go up to 60k or even higher as some of my aircraft start to fill up. Um, if I go into my inventory and my 707Bs, like routes like this, I have a feeling, or not that, um, routes like these should start to do very well. Like, uh, yeah, on the first turn, it's already making a significant amount so yeah um this company seems to be doing just fine probably could be doing a little bit better um but it's doing just fine able to buy almost a plane every turn now so that is pretty nice um it should be a little bit more fun to play on than you know whoops than waiting so long for uh every turn to pass so i have enough money to do anything um on this world Let's uh, wait for the turn to refresh, I guess, and see what's going on. This is, uh, which world is this? This appears to be Passenger World. Ooh, this world has a really low World Traveler Index, I just noticed. But uh, this world, yeah, 20k, so that is very good um, for this time. I'm pretty sure my main company was not this high at this time. As you can see, we also climbed 10 ranks. We're now 7th place. And we'll probably continue to climb as I unlock some of the passenger unlocks. As you guys can see, I'm very close to that uh, milestone. All I needed was slots in London, which are now available. So I'll be able to hit that milestone next turn and probably leapfrog a few more places. Um, and in my last world, Cargo World, which I'm starting to think is probably the weakest, weakest company. Um... We were able to hit a new checkpoint, uh, so that is nice indeed, but we have the lowest value, and I don't think we're doing as well as the other company at 15th, um, so uh, quite a bit behind uh, Thunder Test. Um, yeah, this one is lagging behind a little bit now, um, but that's okay. Um, I feel like it's one of the companies which I've spent the least effort on, so there's no surprise that it's not doing the best. But it's still doing pretty decent. 15th in the world It's not bad at all. So yeah, anyways, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, let's check this net profit. I forgot to check the net profit here. Um, and we're working at a 14k net profit. So we're actually considerably far behind passenger uh, large aircraft company because the passenger company keep in mind has about four or five aircraft um, which aren't doing anything right now they're all min priced um just to increase my passenger count so as soon as i release those onto you know proper prices and proper routes um those will be making a lot more so essentially this company is now very very far behind um i know i have a couple unused aircraft on here but uh, another reason why it might be far behind is I just haven't uh, figured out the optimal pricing. Uh, let me check. Uh, let me check on these routes. So out of these, okay, that's rough. But um, out of these routes, um, yeah, most of them are still 100%, even with the price increase. So we can once again do another price increase of, let's say, another 9%. Um that should be good. Like, I imagine a lot of these will be going up. Um, yeah, so this company actually isn't making as much as it could be, thanks to my pricing not being absolutely correct. But um, I still feel like uh, due to the disadvantages uh, currently on my passenger uh, company that that company will actually end up doing much better than this one. Anyways, that's uh, this episode has gone much longer than I intended anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.